Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see what is a biconditional connective. This is double direction, guys. Even in both directions, you'll be writing that this arrow mark. Okay, this is denoted by P double implies Q. I'll be calling this as double implies. And to read it, if, then, and only if. When I will be writing a statement that will be more clear to you, okay, that's fine. Okay, when, uh, whenever you are going through the truth table, in the previous conditional connective, true implies false, is equals to false, right? Here this is dual direction. So even the reciprocal of this, false, double implies true, is also equals to false. Yep, those are the both cases and rest cases are true. Okay, I hope everyone is clear with the truth table. Let us go through this. Statement P. P. 4 is a prime number okay Q 7 is a prime number okay that's fine P is false and Q is true in terms of biconditional statements you'll be writing like this P double implies Q if 4 is a prime number then 7 is a prime number and if 7 is a prime number then 4 is a prime number so you will be writing two statements, two statements in a single, I uh, will be writing four statements, sorry, four statements in a single statement. You are writing P implies Q and Q implies P. Okay, I will be proving that even in the, okay, in the continuation of this topic. I hope everyone is clear up to now how we wrote the statement. So let us see. This is the truth table. I have clearly told you. Okay, now we will be having a small proof on that. Here the result initial one is initial one is false and the next one is true. So FT will be getting the result. The final result is false. I hope you are clear with this example. Let's go through a proof. P double implies Q is equals to P implies Q and Q implies P. Okay, this is how we'll be solving the this kind of problems using a truth table. Okay. Initially, how many variables are there? P, Q. That's it, right? So, P, Q. There are two. So, we'll be having four combinations. It is denoted by 2 power n, where n is the number of different variables. We'll be getting that many combinations. Here, there are two. So, 2 power 2. That is equals to 4. Four combinations. T, 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 F, F, T, F, F. Okay? You are clear with this? Fine. Next, write the next. P implies Q. Q implies P. P implies Q and Q implies P. Okay, that's fine. P implies Q. Solve this both. P impl implication. Single implication means true, false should be false. That's it. True, false, true, true. Next, like this. Q implies P. T, T, T. F, T, T. T, F, F. F, F, T. Okay, I hope everyone is clear up to now. Okay, in the previous video, we have just discussed about and. And condition. So, it is a reciprocal of V so if any one of them is false then the result is false or else if both are both are true then the result is true remember only a single condition don't get confused between two so T T T F T F T F F T T T I hope both the both the values are matching hence this statement is true P double implies Q can be written as P implies Q and Q implies P I hope everyone is clear with this. Okay. Thanks for watching.